Hello friends, this is Abhijit Bawar. In this video, we are going to learn how to install the IIS services, that is the web server role inside Windows Server 2012 R2. So first, I will click on Server Manager. Then you have to click on Manage, click on Add Roles and Features. Click Next, select Role Based and Feature Based Installation, click Next. Select the server, click next. Now scroll down in the roles option. You can see one option web server in bracket it is IIS. Select this particular role, click on add features, click on next, then click on again next, again click on next, again you have to click on next and now you can click on install. Now the IIS services or you can say the web server role is getting installed on our Windows Server 2012. Remember, this particular machine will operate as a web server and I have created another machine which is Windows 7 machine. This machine will act as a, you can say, a client. So from this client, we will see that from our browser, can we access that particular web page which we have created on this Windows Server machine. And if we are able to access it, that means we have installed or we have configured our web server properly. So we will wait for this installation to get completed. Now once the installation is completed, we can see the installation is completed. Close this particular window. You can close the server manager. Now go to the particular directory where actually we have to change the, uh, you can say the default web page. So go to C drive. I will maximize it. Then you can see one folder named as inetpub, double click. You can see one folder www root, double click. And now you can see one file, a HTML file, is start. So this is the default web page that will be opened. So right click this particular file, click on open with and open with notepad. Now I will select all this data. I will delete whatever is there inside this particular file. And I will insert some new data or entry that is this is my new web server. Hello all. And then you have to save this particular file. So my default web page is created. Now how you will test it? Go to the Windows 7 machine and in web browser you have to type the IP address of this particular server. Now how we will understand the IP address of this server. So click Windows and R button, type CMD, type the command ipconfig, see the IP address of your machine or the server. It is 192.168.124.149. I will go to the Windows server machine now. I will open the Internet Explorer. And in the Internet Explorer or in the browser, I will put the same IP address which was there for the server. So as that particular server is acting now as a web server, so we can use the same IP address. So in the browser option now, I will click over here. And you can see 192.168.124.149. If I type this particular IP address, now you can see this is my new web server. Hello all. So the same data which we have entered into the web page of this Windows Server machine, the same thing we can see from this particular Windows 7 machine. That means our IS server has been configured properly. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do watch other videos and like the videos also. Thank you. Thank you very much.